As the time passed, I realized there are circuits, there are wires, and I found it so interesting to work with them. I used to open that box when my computer used to be upset. I used to clean it up, I used to take out the wire, keep it back, and luckily things worked. I used to think I was a musician making things happen. Well, that was not the truth. It was from that age when I got interested in technology and I started learning different things, skills, electronics and communication engineering. I had expectation that with all the knowledge I had earlier, working in circuit, working in different parts of computer, I would be able to explore more on technology and implement my knowledge, my idea, my passion to bring out things. That was my expectation. First day at the college, I went to the class, almost everybody boys, very few girls, that was a fear. Now I do not know what to do. I came from all girls school background and then I was in the classroom where almost 80% of them were boys. Well, I had to survive, right? That was not a problem at all. I was expecting I would be able to do more things out of it, I would be able to implement my interest on different aspects of technology, but in vain. We were taught to do different things, things that was pre-assumed, codes that were pre-written, and sometimes even copy them. We were given some lab, lab hand, handouts, which we had to look through and solve the problems. That energy of a young girl who wanted to change her world through technology turned out into a disappointment. Then I realized, is this the field really for me? Do I continue with this or should I stop? Well, no, let's give it a try. Why just be on college and do things, right? So I went out, started exploring all different things. I went into different organizations, I went to different communities, and then got selected as Microsoft Student Partner. After that, I started exploring, I started learning. I started making things, I started developing websites, I started doing uh, coding on to make different things happen. I started working with robotics. It was very fun. It was very much interesting. I used to work out at 7 in the morning and come back home at 7, 8. My family was absolutely supportive. Unfortunately, again, I had doubts. Doubts if I would really make things happen. Doubts that, am I in the correct field? Because everybody around me were boys. I sometimes used to fear, maybe I chose a wrong career path because I cannot see much girls. Maybe this is a wrong place where I'm standing. Maybe there has to be something where I could keep doing something else. Maybe I should be doing fashion designing or hotel studies or maybe I should be a nurse. There are more girls there, right? That was the point I realized we have a problem. A problem in our society where we have image in our mind, where we create girls in fields such as beauty, nursing, medicine, and other such. We have heard our parents say, my daughter is going to be a doctor. We have heard parents say, my daughter is going to be a nurse. Has anybody heard their parents say, my daughter is going to be an engineer? Of course not. There are very less parents like mine push their daughters into these kind of fields. I've been giving trainings to different youth from different organizations. I've been training kids. I've been tra working with uh, people from different age groups. But at that time, I found out whichever class I go into, there's always three girls and 40 other boys inside the classroom. There happened one situation such that I went to teach Internet of Things to a class of students studying in bachelors. When I went inside the classroom, I could not see any girls. Then I asked them, don't you have any girls in your classroom? And the boys said, they don't really like to come into trainings. Then I called them back, I called those girls, and then I asked, why did you not come for the training? And they said, we are not sure if we are in the right path. Because in first semester, we were taught to do C. Second semester, we were taught C++. In third, we were taught Java. In fourth, we were taught Python. 
and we got all messed up. Now we, be, we are in phase of thinking that we should drop out of the college. Then I asked her, why did you choose to be in engineering? She told me, I could not take my name out in MBBS. That's why my, what my parents thought it would be a good option for me. But she had no interest. Then again I asked, do you think you can make things happen with technology? She said, yes. When I was child, I used to love doing it, but these days I cannot. Problem was, there were no other people in the field presenting girls, and we did not have enough of the confidence. It was from that day on, I started mentoring girls on whichever field they want to, because technology does not have any gender. Do you think technology says, I want boys in me and not girls? Do you think that is the scenario that actually exists? Of course not. It is because of the society stereotype that we are living in. I can see myself working in a field, technology, and leading a tech company where basically I just had all boys in my office and I was the only girl. We got girls into the team. Not because they were girls, but because they were doing amazing. According to studies, it is found that in junior levels, when girls get into learning, their learning and capabilities are better than boys when junior. As they gradually grow up, they leave out the field and we just have less number of girls in technology. Study also says that if girls pursue her career in technology, almost 52% of their they leave out their job in mid careers and they leave the field of technology and choose something else. What do you think that actually happens? Again, I repeat, technology does not have a gender. It's always about your confidence and about how society has stained your mind. Even myself, I have doubt in myself a lot. Yesterday night, I was coming back, I was coming to the place and I was thinking, Am I doing a right job? I was not sure. I'm not even sure today. Because I'm a girl traveling alone, giving trainings to people. I went to a classroom, I taught people, but still even today I don't feel confident. Do you know why? Because while coming back, I had a question from a fellow traveler. Where are you going, madam? And I said, I'm going to Chilwell. I have this kind of program. What are you coming from? He asked. I came back giving training to these people on technology and how we can implement them. And then he looked at me and said, you're an engineer? As if I was a monster. Go on. I was not a monster, right? So these are kind of the situation that makes me into the doubt that is feed for, uh, for technology feed for myself, correct? But again, I have a huge confidence. Technology does not have gender and it just takes your passion, your energy and your uh, enthusiasm to make things happen. If we want to push girls in career, the first thing we need to change is prospect that we have in mind. A girl in engineering can be as beautiful as in any other way. We've seen memes in our social media, right? Engineering girls, very messy, not pretty, of course not. I look pretty, don't I? Well, so that is how we have been stereotyping ice.